uh, are you free to chat on the, uh, like, on the audio? Because we, we, uh, we can turn that on here. We're in the, uh, the, the chat room. Yeah, they just swarm, like, the fast ones are, are always what gets you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you gotta, like, be fast, because you don't realize how fast they're going. Talk it. Cool. Yeah, this is in the way, man. Alright, so Nova's not gonna be able to hear you. No, because I don't want to make it. Yet. Not yet. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> mute, the, mute the stream? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm just checking. Okay, yeah, we got you on the uh, on the stream as well. I just couldn't remember if I set that up correctly or not. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, I mean, we're getting pretty close to uh, hitting our affiliate goal, which is nice. But we we've been stuck on uh, 47 followers for a while now. I think we can clear it uh, uh, by the end of the week, but hopefully, hopefully we do. Because we've been stuck for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I mean, we're doing it a lot more often now. And I think it's just because it's, like, a good excuse to play video games. Plus, I get a ton of videos that I can put up on, on YouTube. Wah! You don't have to do as much, uh, do as much, uh, work to, like, edit it all together. Because I, I, like, I, I can... I, I get the Twitch stream and like chop it all together, and by the time like you get a 20 minute, 15 20 minute video done, it takes me like less than less than the length of the video to throw it all together. And then uh, the other day I had to uh, edit the um, local multiplayer. Uh, it was just finishing up the. Uh, oh, good, good this one. Uh, I was doing the um, uh, the last of our uh, slime rancher batch, and that freaking like editing that together took me an hour to <laughs> to do, and it took multiple hours to render out. So it's like I, I got spoiled by doing easy edits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, stay alive. See, I told you they're so. Huh? Oh fuck. Uh. Twitter. Well, it's so a Twitter. I don't have a great follow. Which is, you know, annoying. Um, but uh, I'd say like the best audience that I found. Uh, honestly, I think it's my own personal website that I have the best uh, audience reaction on. Well, I'm like, we always do the cross-platform, uh, like, advertisement stuff, so, like, that's never, that's never an issue, right? It's always, like, oh, shit, oh, god. Oh, fuck. 
We do a lot of cross cross uh, promotion stuff, but it's like it, it, it's not a question of like, oh yeah, Jess, we'll get right on that. We never thought of doing that before. No, um, I, I mean, fair. You are. It, it is a bit like you being like, so uh, you know, when you're drawing a person, try drawing the whole person. Like you can't get any better if you don't learn how to draw feet and. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know if your response, like you wanted the response to be like, I've never done art in my life. This changes everything. No. Um. Oh, draw, draw feet more. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Well, who's who's the artist? Who is the artist who like? genuinely could draw feet so he would like constantly hide feet behind like rocks and rebels and stuff but like uh, this is like um i want to say it was a like a marvel artist who Liefeld, yes it's like i can draw pouches uh, all the time and i've created like some of the most iconic well-known characters <gasps> ever but i just can't draw feet and then he yes because i remember everybody like fucking blasting him about that and then he just did like a whole Aquaman where like every panel had people's feet in it just so he could be like <laughs> I can two draw feet Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very static imagery. Yeah, I mean, I know it's fucking hard. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh no, we we've, got, to we've got enough to upgrade. Okay, maybe this will put it. I think the up. biggest thing is, is that I think uh, what helps is when someone else sees that we're doing something and they advertise it as well. Because yeah. I know. Uh, I try to make sure that Instagram is something that I use a lot. So I'll post. Oh, did you stuff. post on Instagram? Because I forgot. Not now. Okay. No. <laughs> See, when we plan stuff, it's easier oh, yeah, to yeah, post cause... stuff because then I can like plan ahead and post it. But if we don't have anything to post other than just a picture of what we're doing, it's a little more challenging, right? So when you just do a stream that's just kind of like, hey, you want to stream? Sure. It's kind of more challenging to um, advertise for. But if you're like, when we do our Retronomicons, we have like the whole week. Yeah, to, to post things over and over as a reminder. And my thing is, is I have to remember to do hashtags. Because if you don't do a hashtag with it, it's, you, you might as well, you're just putting up a picture. And everyone's just like, cool, that's a picture. But if you put a hashtag with it, people can find it because when they're doing searches or if they're looking at something, that will pop up. And then they'll see it and then they'll be like, hey, that looks kind of interesting. So you have to add those... You have to add those hashtags in order to get that audience, right? Yeah, because because the hashtag lets people who want to find it find it. Exactly. So I just I have to remember to put that. And I know some of our uh, some people, some of the friends of ours, they like to repost, right? Which yeah. is helpful. And I think that's the biggest thing is like just doing that repost, even if it's on a story, right? Because I know Frank, she'll do it for us every so often yeah. when she sees. Oh fuck! I did, did you it. Get it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good job. All right. Okay, I will try the next round. <laughs> oh geez, that one's because you upgraded, hey? Yeah, it, it was, and also I'm like, well, when I was saying that, oh, you're replying it. Well, you have to. We have to oh, do it okay. three times and lock, 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 lock the other one. Um, when I'm playing it, I've got the uh, the controller sitting upright, and I'm just like bongo playing the buttons because <laughs> it's literally just two buttons uh, to play this. 
It's called Kawaii Deathloo Des. Uh, it is. Uh, it was like ten bucks on Steam. It's U R A or Switch. Switch. Um, you are uh, a demonic uh, pop idol, and you're murdering all of the people that rush your stage. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the concept is is super Japanese and like just kind of like Asian in general. Because like we got pop stars, but we don't really have like. Ah, uh, they're gonna murder know? me. Yeah, it's uh. Fuck, you are getting it. You're just taking it. it from all sides. I know. Maybe we should have Shit. posted this on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Actually, that's a good one. That's a good uh, topic. Um, no, it's not that topic. Don't worry, Jess. I'm not going to have to put you on Front Street or anything. Um, I'm, I'm never worried about Okay. <laughs> You're never worried about me being like, so what kind of porn are you into today? Yeah. No, um... <laughs> Uh, X again. I know, I was just... Oh, like, you're looking at the, the costume? I wonder, I wonder if they'll, um... Oh, I do updates? No, 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 wait. Okay, oh, I'm waiting. I wonder if the different clothing will help you as well. Oh, if they have different stats. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so, because they are just listed as skins. Okay. Just... Um, because if they had stats, they, they would say stats, right? Um... Anyways, uh, no, <laughs> what I was going to ask is, uh, Jess, you are something of an artist. Something, he is. It's amazing. Yeah, you, uh, you, uh, push pencils and ink. <laughs> you, uh, you, you tattoo dead trees. As it were. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, you... Oh yeah, like, we just we just started doing painting this year. That's fun. Yeah, okay. So, considering the uh, subject matter of this game, uh, what, uh, what uh, monster character uh, do you not see enough uh, sexy art. Like I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that you don't see sexy art from, because like it's anything can be sexy. <laughs> anything can be sexy. Uh, Brian David Gilbert uh, taught us that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, like anything, anything is sexy, and everybody's got a fetish for like there's a there's a fetish for everyone. I guess is what I'm saying. Um. And like, just so that you don't feel weird about uh, about just outright saying it, because you know I don't I don't want to put you out there and just be like, ha ha, you're a pervert. Um, <laughs> uh, I will, in fact, go first um, because it is something that I thought about, and it's something that I thought about wanting to like do uh, uh, sexy dojinshi or whatever. <coughs> um, I uh, I like the ghosts, like the the ghost arts uh, stuff, where it's just like, especially when it comes to like old folk tales or like uh, urban legends. I, I like that, like recontextualized into something like sexy, because like I like horror monsters and creepy shit, uh, but I don't love the gore thing, and that's that's always kind of where that art ends up going. It's just like, well, I've made this giant toothy monster. He's gonna, he's gonna tear this person apart, but first they're going boing. You know, it's like, but, and, but like, whenever, whenever I look at it, uh, look at the art stuff, like the, the sexy monster art, it's always like, uh, it's always sucky by and never shape of the water monster, you know? <laughs> oh, oh god, no! The girl from the ring is, is supposed to be like 12! <laughs> That's like the plot of that movie. But like, I, I, I get that it's an urban legend, like, very popular, like, generalized style of ghost story. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, th- I, I thought we were still talking about the sexy stuff, not not funny sort of situation. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. The manor? I don't think so. You might be the last one. <laughs> okay. It's got elements of that where it's horror. It's not really horror, but it's kind of like. Um, it's a very fine line, I think. Yeah, you know, like how do you make people... No, no, get, 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 keep up, great. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sexually afraid? I mean, like, in a, in a safe, comfortable way, because, I mean, there is one, uh, there is one very specific uh, type of sexually afraid thing that we don't want to address, but it's, uh, like, yeah. we're, yeah. yeah, it's like... This creeping, impending. Well, I mean, it's like whenever you watch a ghost movie, you read a ghost story where it's just like, uh, this person is haunted, and the, the ghost is definitely going to ghost murder you, but they show up, uh, as like a sexy woman seducing you. It's, it's basically half of the plots in, uh, holy shit, these guys are juicy. Um, half of the plots in, uh,. American Horror Story? Is that the show? American Horror Story, yeah. yeah. They're pretty weird. It's like ha- half the plots, whenever they do a, a ghost story one, it's just like, here's a, a big titty lady who's gonna seduce the dude, and that's like, that's the story, right? It's like, the, the creeping dream. <sighs> Woof. Yeah. The first one that they did was the Yeah, and the yeah, and it's like you. I I want there to be a point to like the a point to the story, a point to the sexuality, and I mean you've probably come come into this with like the comments and stuff too. Like you can have a sexy uh, a, a sexy like buxom character, but like when you're explaining the reason why they're this person, you you don't want to go power girl. Like, yeah, she's got a boob window because she doesn't have a logo, and so her her boob window is like because she doesn't she doesn't belong to anything sort of thing. And it's like, no, you just wanted you just wanted some cleavage on Power Girl. Well, well, well actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, that's like that uh, the Spider-Man Year a Hundred thing where they they drew Old Man Peter Parker's dick and they and the editors didn't catch it and they had to recall all of those books. <laughs> Oh, by the way, hi, Jules. Oh, hi, Jules. More people. More people. Yeah, the quicker you can get that power, the better. The only problem is that power runs out so fast. Can 
you almost have to like, yeah, because you almost have to stand kind of in the middle and see how they gather. And then well, I wait for them to, yeah, yeah, I wait for them to like get in a big group, and that's why I go like real fast. You can hear, yeah, <laughs> hear how much I'm. You want to see a ton of porn? <laughs> It's not that. It's super new. I think it's pretty new. Fuck yeah! <laughs> it's in the in the switch um, in the switch store. I don't even know. It was on sale, and I was like, why not? Because it looked cute. Um, well, this is uh, this actually comes to uh, uh, a thing. We're we're swapping back and forth a lot, uh, for each level now. Um, the thing uh, I was. Um, I bought a bunch of games, uh, so I, I, I think uh, I bought uh, from the Humble Bundle, they had the uh, bundle against, uh, bundle for racial equality, or I guess racial inequality, I can't remember what it's called specifically, uh, and it had a bunch of games that I, I wanted to play for like a super long time, so like, Shit um, balls. oh my god, 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 ah! Damn um, it. so it had things like, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we had um, the Kerbal Space Program, which we played last night, and I was terrible at. Um, yeah, it had uh, uh, Baba is You, which is what we were supposed to play last night. Baba is You is fantastic. But I couldn't get it working. Um, and uh, it has like Hyper Light, Hyper Light Drifter, and like just a ton of games that I really want to play. And so, like, I, I spent a bunch of time, like, testing the games to make sure that they were going to be suitable for our streams and stuff. Um, I bring this up because another game that we were going to do uh, was specifically that, like, how do you know a game's popular? Well, how much porn has been made of it? Um, there's a game called Helltaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I picked it up for free when it was it was launched because they were doing this whole like hey it's free get it now uh, tried it very very fun very great art ah! style very fun like mechanics and whatnot uh, but like the reason uh, the reason there's so much porn drawn on it immediately was just I yeah hell yeah I actually <laughs> did it okay Woo! oh sorry about that <laughs> uh, the reason that there's so much porn is because the the plot, the story of the game is a guy decides to go to hell so that he could build a, a harem of demon girls. And I'm like, all right, so like it's it's very non-sexual. Like the the plot is is very specifically sexual, but like the uh, execution and the story and stuff, pretty chaste when it's like uh, when you actually start getting into it. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I, I wouldn't say that so much. I, I mean, I, we, I only played like the first two levels just so that I could get a feel, make sure that it was suitable for the game. But like, oh yeah, the art is fucking wonderful. Yeah, 